How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to change the search button to a cap lock button on the Google Chromebook. So this is kind of the quirky features about the Chromebook, like um, the Acer one for example. I haven't checked on the, the, um, the other two, but instead of there being a, a, a cap lock button here, there is a search button. And so there's actually a way in the settings to change it so that it will function as a cap lock. So I'm going to walk you through that here today in this video. All right, so let's um, get our shot back here. All right, so first thing that you want to do is you want to go to the settings. Now, there's two ways to get to the settings. I'm trying to adjust the camera there. Okay, so for the settings, you can just come right to the bottom right corner, click on the clock, and your settings is right here. You can also get to settings by simply just going to Chrome. Where is Chrome? Right here. Open up Chrome, come right here, menu, and settings. And so either way, they both take it to the same place, just so just depending on where you are. So what you want to do is you want to come down to keyboard settings. And under search, you want to click here and you want to go to cap lock. And now that that's done, if we type something, I can hit the cap lock button and then I can just type everything in caps. So the button won't say cap lock, but you'll know that it is a cap lock. And just to show you too, again, it does have some other cool options. You could also change it to... You could disable it altogether so that it doesn't do anything, or you can make it an escape button because there is no escape key on the Chromebook. So, anyway, that's how you convert the search button into a uh, cap lock. Hope you guys did find this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if you did find it helpful. Subscribe to H2Tech Videos. Follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash H2TechVideos, and follow us on Instagram at H2TechVideos. Once again, thanks for watching and have a good one.